welcome to the alias and user settings guide for your Foscam IP camera. If you can go ahead and open up your camera, you can get the IP address by opening up IP camera tools. I already have it copied. I'm opening up Internet Explorer and we're going to log into the camera. Admin, leave the password blank. First login button and we're going to go to for administrator. Now the alias settings is uh, the second tab and user settings is the fourth tab. Let's start on alias settings. So as you can see here the alias is anonymous. You can see here on the tab it says your device name anonymous and if we go to IP camera tools uh, the camera's name is anonymous. So you can name this uh, anything you'd like uh, Jamie's cam, Rob's cam, Brand's cam, kitchen cam, front office cam, uh, garage cam, whatever you like. So uh, as soon as you name it, click submit and you can see at the top here it's going to change winter is coming. Winter is coming. Now that's your alias setting, that's done. Uh, user settings. Okay, you have your username. Uh, we have it as uh, the default admin and the password we have it left blank as you can see you can have multiple users and here on the third category is group now you can uh, have a, a visitor user uh, operator user or an administrative user so let's see what these three things can do so if you give somebody administrative rights uh, they can do what the visitor does uh, do what the operator does and they can uh, do what the administrator does and basically they can change all your settings on the camera. Change your wireless, change your port forwarding. Now the operator, this window right here, uh, will give you access to move the camera around if it's a pan and tilt camera, turn on or off the infrared lights and under any of the other options you see here. Uh, visitor mode won't be able to move the camera around but there are the two-way audio buttons, uh, the speaker and the microphone, and there's also the button to record. So let's just go ahead and uh, the default is admin, password is blank. So let's change that up. You can put whatever you like. Uh, it is case sensitive. We're going to leave it as administrator. Now it's going to ask you to confirm what you just put in. Okay, now you're going to have to wait 30 seconds. Now, if for any reason you forget uh, your username and password, or you put the correct username and password, but it's just not logging in, uh, you can reset the camera to the factory default settings. Uh, for the indoor cameras, uh, if you flip it over, you'll see a little hole that says reset on it. You can get a pin or a paper clip, uh, hold it down for about 15-20 seconds and release. And if the camera starts moving left, right, up and down, then uh, the camera is reset. Uh, for the outdoor cameras, uh, on one of the dongles, uh, there's a button. You just hold it down for the same amount of seconds and it'll reset. Uh, you can also press this button right here. It says restore factory settings and it'll reset the camera. Uh, but if you do reset the camera, you'll know that it's reset because it'll say anonymous again. It won't have your name. And uh, if it still says anonymous because you didn't change the alias, then uh, your wireless settings won't be there anymore and your port forwarding settings won't be there anymore. It's uh, completely reset to factory default settings. So let's give this a go now for logging in. So let's just try admin, password, uh, blank. Okay, this should not work. Okay, excellent. Fail to connect to the device. Incorrect user. That's what we want because we changed it. So let's put in the correct username and password. Stark. Okay, and remember it's case sensitive. Okay, and there you go. Uh, it's quite simple, it's quite easy, and that's going to conclude the alias and user setting guide. Thank you.